Welcome back to the channel guys. Let's test ride the Yeti SB130. Alright guys, here's the 2019 Yeti SB130. Very similar to the 2020 model, but just the colorway is a little bit different. The 130 is a mid-travel trail bike with a 150 millimeters of travel fork, 130 millimeters out back that is designed to conquer all trails. The 130 has progressive geometry with a 65.5 degree head tube angle, 76.9 degree seat tube angle, and this large carbon frame has a reach of 480.2 millimeters. If you want to see all the details on the SB130, I'll leave a link to Yeti's website in the description below. Let's go ride. So guys, we made it to the top of Toadie's Tour. Typical Switch Infinity platform, very supportive on the climbs. Um, very stiff bike, I've noticed. There's no give, just climbing, you know, you, there's no creaking from it. It's very quiet, so that's nice. Um, it's the XL1 build, so you expect to, you know, top end shifting and uh, brakes, guide RSC, so not my favorite brakes, the guides, but they, they do the job, you know, just not my preference. Um, we're gonna give a little space at Toadie's Tour. There's a lot of people here today at uh, Nimba Fest, so give a little space in and then we're gonna rip it. So this is the SB130 is the do it all trail bike, I think. If you could just have one bike. It's gonna be this. So it's kind of like the stump jumper, you know, normal stump jumper. You know, you can do park on it. You can still rip some XC trails. So this trail is not too gnarly. Got a little chatter from the roots like this. And I'm gonna take the roughest lines and see how this platform handles it. It's still very poppy. Um, let's see. Feels good so far. Yeah, very stable. I'm digging it. A little double jump. Whee! <laughs> Dead sailor that one. And we'll bring it down here. Wait for the people to go down. Give a little space. Definitely pedals better than my some jumper I had, the S-Works, the regular long travel one, which I think it's his main competition. All right, give a little space. The people are probably gonna catch him. It's really crowded, but this thing feels good. I'm on a size large, and they try to get me on a medium. I'm only 5'10", and I would go the large. I like a bigger cockpit. I'm getting used to these bigger bikes, and you really notice a steep soup tube angle, so the Effective top tube length is not that long for a large bike, but the reach is nice. You can really feel it. Just opens up the cockpit. You can breathe on the descents. Only thing I'd probably change on this bike is the handlebars are a little wide. How you doing? Yeah. Probably slow the rebound down in the back end too. It's kind of kicking me. Little step up. Look at that. Just popped. There's a little high speed Rudy section. Feels good and stable. There you go. A little chatter. How you doing? Drop. Firm. Yeah. You do got to lean on the front end to make the uh, front tire bite down. One thing I noticed, like on these little bowl turns, I got to push the front end down. Not a bad thing, just it's a little different feel. This thing's just like eating up the single track too, just pedaling wise, super efficient. Just joined Catbox Hill in the Kingdom Trails and it's got a little section where it's just kind of up and down, you know, normal trails, some roots on it, no big deal. And I could definitely ride this bike 
all day long. Feels really good. We showed it. It's just the turning. It's taking a little to get used to. And the tighter stuff here. These 800 bars are huge. All right. Let's start this descent. I think there's a little descent coming up here. Oh, yeah, this bowl turn. Sweet. Oh, yeah. See, it feels really good in the bowls. It's just like the flat sweeping turns. A little issue on that. A little jump. Yo! It's this. Send it. Feels good in these bike park turns though. It's easier to weight down the front end. Oh, jump. Yeah. Easy to jump too, just stable. Feels like a big bike when you're kind of going fast. And then when you're coming around just some flat trails, it's got that normal trail bike feel. So kind of good. I think it's a good all around her. Let's see how she climbs though back up on Barrington Bench. We're climbing up Barrington Bench on the Yeti SP130 and take a typical Yeti. You know, I'm keeping everything wide open, shock and fork and, and minimal bob. Gets up the steep stuff pretty well. Got a steep, steep tube angle, so get the front end down or keep the front end down and just crank on the pedals. This is a good do it all bike, I think. If you're in the market just for a bike to kind of do everything pretty well, I definitely check out the SB130. Now we're still climbing here at Barrington Bench, and a couple things I'm noticing I would change personally. Um, probably slam the stem and get a completely flat bar. I feel like the stack height, which is only like two spaces underneath there here, and the 40 mil stem. And, the rise in the bars are like 10 millimeter. It feels like I'm sitting back on the bike. Um, even with the steep seat tube angle. I think I can fix that though, just by flat bar and slamming the stem right to the frame. But that's just one thing I noticed, but pedal efficiency is really high. Bike feels pretty lightweight. You know, it doesn't feel like an XC bike obviously, but um, feels like a lightweight trail bike to me. But. What can I say about this 130? It is a, a do-it-all trail bike, guys. You know, the 130 millimeters out back here with the Switch Infinity platform is a really good pedaling bike, just like every other Yeti. Um, it was nice and quiet on the climbs and, and descents. You know, the Fox 36 is a nice, stiff, plush fork, and uh, everything worked really well. I'm not a big fan of the guide brakes, but that's personal preference. So a couple things I would change on the Yeti are uh, it's just the right here at the stack height. You know, it's pretty much bottom back. It feels like it's a high front end, even though it has a steep C2 dangle. Your weight is on the front end, but I like it probably a little lower. So I probably slam the stem and put a completely flat bar on it. And it probably just make it comfy for myself. And I'm on a size large, and I'm 5'10, 175 pounds. And I'd go to size large for my do it all bike. Because if you're on a medium, you brought this to a bike park, um, you probably wouldn't get that nice reach on it when you're descending down steep stuff. But if you had the large, you know, it just feel a little bit better. Um, but if you're just riding local trails all the time, then maybe spring for the medium if you're about my size, but I definitely like the large. So who is this Yeti SB130 for? It's for the type of rider who enjoys having just one bike. If they don't like moving from a long travel to a short travel bike, depending on the terrain they're riding, the 130 does everything well. It climbs well, it pedals well, it's an efficient pedaler for those flowy trails, or it can actually smash some downhills due to the, the modern geometry but you can overwhelm the back end on the Yeti. It does have its limits, but they were pretty hard to reach. So guys, if you have any questions about the Yeti 130, please leave in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and peace. So wait, how does the SB130 compare to the new version two 2020 Hightower? Well, the Hightower has similar travel numbers as the SB130. It has a 150 fork, with 140 millimeters of travel out back. But where the real difference is between the bikes is the frame stiffness. The high tower is just built a little bit burlier. You know, babies basically it's just a baby mega tower. So the high tower just feels a little bit more capable on the downhills with similar geometry as the SP130. 
it just feels a little bit more plush and a little bit more planted than the SB130. But where the SB130 may lack in the descent proudness that the high tower has, it makes up in the pedal efficiency on the climbs and in more flowier trails. So guys, that's just a quick comparison with the two. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll make sure I get back to you. I'll see you next time. Peace.